Yes, welcome everyone here to the State Basketball Centre here, of course, uh, after a great win for the Deakin Melbourne Burns, of course, defeating the UC Caps in, uh, in, a, in the Purple Day today. Uh, but most importantly, let's uh, talk to our player sponsor in particular, to uh, get to know a bit about our player sponsor, of course, her name's Kalani, she joins us right now. Thanks, Kalani, for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Now, Rose, well, tell us, when did you start playing the sport of basketball and why did you choose the sport? Um, I started playing when pretty much since birth. My, my parents played and so did all my siblings, so it was kind of just like, I just slotted into playing basketball. Now of course, uh, you play for, play for one of the best schools up in Queensland, uh, John Paul College. Uh, tell us a bit about your, your time there at John Paul. Um, well, I initially, I didn't start there, so I started at, at Runcorn High School um, because there was some, I don't know, some things that happened where I uh, couldn't go to John Paul straight away, but I needed to start the school year there, in, in this, here in Australia. And so I ended up going there in term two, um, and I mean it was good. The, my my teammates were my friends, so I hung out with them all the time. And my coach, my coach was really he was really awesome. He made me feel really welcome, and I guess kind of just we sort of just built like a like a little mini family at, at John Paul, and it was really fun. And I think, uh, not only that, I think winning as well kind of, you know, put the icing on the cake sort of thing. Now, I know John Paul Collins has got a rich in history in national championships, obviously winning uh, quite a few um, during the time. Uh, is there one that really stands out to you the most? Um, not, well, so my first year, uh, 2010, when we went to nationals, I just I remember that game was really close, and it was it was down to the wire, and it was kind of like little hustle things, you know, that that helped us get us through. And I don't think it's like the my like favorite, you know, but I think it, it is something that I definitely remember because it was so close, and uh, it was a real challenge for all of us. But we ended up with the win, so it was good. And it was our first first uh, championship in a while, I think. So it was, it was a nice. Nice way to come into the school. Now, obviously, uh, since John Paul College, I think you went to the US as well for college. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that experience. Uh, well, I started off in Juca. I went to a junior college first in Kansas. And although I didn't really want to do that initially, I, I think it turned out really well for me. And I think that my coach really helped me develop as a, as a player. Uh, physically like on the court and I also think mentally he was a really smart coach and he made me think a lot when I was playing because he had me playing a lot of different positions even though I was predominantly a four man uh, he also he sometimes would have me bring the ball up the court and you know kind of just get my mind thinking about different things um, during games and practices and stuff and it was good and then I, I was there for two years at Hutchinson Kansas um, and then I went to Brigham Young University in Utah for another two years and I just finished this April yeah this April and I mean it was good I was another really smart coach played in the NBA a couple years um, and the also our assistant coaches were really really play oriented so they really helped us um, you know one-on-one -on -one and and as a team as well so <clears throat> uh, like my Hutch coach all of them really helped me um, develop my game mentally and so um, it's actually funny because a lot of the things they try to teach, they were teaching me at the time, it wasn't really registering to me. Um, so, but then as soon as I got here, I would like notice things that I was doing that I, that I remember them trying to teach me. And I was like, huh, I didn't even realize that it like just came to me, you know? So it was good. I think that through all my um, basketball career, like not just in college, I think growing up from probably about 12 all the way to now I think every coach, every team and every player that I've been um, playing with and been a part of has has helped me in some way or another. Yeah, so it's been it's been good. Uh, any highlights over in the US like, uh, throughout a game in particular? Was there one particular game or a couple of games that really stands out to you as um, some highlights? <laughs> I don't think there's one particular. I think there's many. I, I definitely have a, a lot of highlights um, in over in America and just in my basketball career in general. But I think there's a few that I can think of that I just I just think it's such a 
relief almost, you know, and I think one of them was was one of our uh, conference games when I was at, at Hutch. Um, it was it was down to the last few seconds and I remember I got fouled and we were down by one. Yeah. And so I got to shoot the free throws and like initially I was like, oh geez, like I'll, <laughs> I'll just make the free throws. And, but I was like trying to play it cool, you know, like I do with it all the time, that kind of thing. And so my first, my first shot kind of like bounced around the rim and I was just looking at it like, just drop in please. <laughs> and it, it went in and I was like, oh my gosh. And then, but then as soon as I, that shot went in, I was like, oh, the second one I got easy. So I, you know, I made the shot and then we ended up winning the game. So it was, that was a really, really good experience. And I think also uh, when I was at BYU, um, the, I mean, I guess my first year there, uh, 2000 and what was it, 14? Wait, what year are we? 17. 17. 15. Um, I, uh, I'm making the, the uh, NCAA March Madness. Ah. So I, I think that was probably, I mean, we, we made it only to round one, but still you only have a limited selection of people that make it into the... Uh, NCAA tournament, so it was just really exciting and you know, just all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, those, those are just a couple, but I can think of a lot more in my head. I just it, I could talk all day about it though. Uh, transition over now to the WNBL, obviously from college to, to here, uh, playing for the mighty Deacon Melbourne Boomers, who are <laughs> flying at the moment, uh, currently in the top two at the moment. Uh, did it was it an easy transition from going from college to WNBL? Um, it was different, I say for sure. Uh, I think being my first like professional career uh, season, it, I was really unsure of myself, and I, I think of just like not my abilities or anything. I just think unsure of where I needed to fit in the team, you know, to to help us win. And because at, at BYU and at Hajj, I I was a I was like a go-to man, so I would I would be there to score and rebound, you know, kind of just do do whatever I needed but here like I'm not needed for scoring you know like I'll, I can add in my four six eight ten points and um but it's not like it's not going to be a make or break thing you know what I mean um and so I think I think the past few games especially um being that like hustle energy kind of player where I like get a loose ball or I get a like a tip for a rebound and you know things like that I I think that um, the being a part of the team has really made me not be, uh, what's the word? I don't want to say selfish, but yeah. not have to worry about my yeah. own self, you know, need to score, you know, doing that kind of thing. So I, yeah, I think that just from having like, you know, Liz, Jenna, Britt, Maddie, all those, score, those people who score, um, that being the, the rebounder, you know, doing the one percenters. Yeah, role well player. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's fun. I like it. Uh, how have you found being part of the, the Deacon Melbourne Boomers family and especially the fans that you come to every week, week in, week out with a packed crowd here at the, the State Basketball Centre? Yeah, I mean, it's good because I guess, like, usually today would be a hard, hard uh, season or whatever to play yeah. and... I mean, game because of the time of day, and that's on a Saturday, and you know all that kind of stuff. But the the turnout of crowds that we had today was actually was actually pretty amazing, and I think for for the cause that we had today as well, it was you know I, we had a we just had a team meeting after the game about it, and and I walked in a little bit late because I was still uh, signing some stuff, but um, you know walking in and just just feeling the emotion and the the gratitude and happiness of, of both the club and the families um, and seeing the look on the girls faces and you know a lot of them were in tears so it's such, such a special moment and I think that it, that kind of thing happens you know all, you know, all the time and just uh, it's nice nice to have people who, who stick with us through anything. Two final ones before I let you go, I know it's pretty late now. Um, what, what does the sport of basketball mean to you? And second part of that, what would be your advice to our listeners out there that should get involved in basketball? <laughs> um, basketball is, uh, it's, it's been kind of, 
how do I how do I describe it? Honestly, it's it's like all I know, you know? Like I've done it from when I was younger. Yeah, I played I played other sports and stuff as well, but but I mostly I uh, mostly enjoyed basketball the most. And so so playing it and like doing it all the all the way up until now, it's um I don't know, it's just special. And I think having like especially having like fans you know, come every week and regardless how many times they come to the games, they still want to come and get autographs from us and, you know, come and talk to us. And I think that is something that's really special. And uh, you don't get that very often. And I think especially in women's sports. So the, the, the amount of love and just like togetherness that the fans and the club and everyone has here at the, for the Melbourne Boomers, it's just, I don't know, it's, really just touching. Yeah. And one final one, obviously us being your player sponsor for this year, um, how special to have a player sponsor like us? <laughs> uh, I mean... I'm trying to hunt myself up yeah. there, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it's my, it's my first like pr professional career, so I've never had anyone like kind of on my back, you know, like in yeah. the before I warm-up shirts and stuff. It's, so it's, it's cool. I mean, my first when I first saw it, I was like, "Oh, this is exciting!" Like, you know, like. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's really awesome. I think you know. I th I think it's I think it's really awesome because, especially for women's sport. Like, I don't want to downplay it or anything, but it it's really it is quite hard for women's sports to get you know out there. And so I think that you know a, a good radio show and stuff like that. It's it's good because you know the name gets out there. The the people get out there. You know, people listen and stuff. So. It's good. I like it. It's really awesome. Kalani, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. Uh, I want to wish you and your team all the best for the rest of the season. We can't wait to see the Boomers hopefully making the finals for the first time in a couple of years. Yeah. But uh, thank you for so much for taking your time out to join us. Best of luck and we can't wait to see uh, yourself and obviously the team uh, hopefully go all the way. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. No worries. That's Kalani Purcell there for, of course, uh, our Deacon Mel Boomers.